What's up, Ham Radio? Kilo Echo 8, Papa Zoo in November, the Ham Radio Adventure Guy. Thanks for stopping by your one stop for everything Adventure Radio. Today, we're going to teach you how to take your N3FJP software and use it for Poda or Soda. So stay tuned. All right, so here we got the basic setup when you get the N3FJP downloaded and installed this is pretty much what it looks like and this however will not work for poda the only difference in the basic is down here where it says sig info it will say other and the, mine has already changed in my system but uh this is the basic setup besides that would say other so the reason it has to say sig info is that's what uh poda requires for the park to park information and we'll show you we'll show you all that stuff but anyway so what you're going to do to get started is first you're going to go up here and you're going to go to settings and then you're going to go edit fields and you're going to go to customize configuration all right so here you want to go down and you want to make sure to enable repositioning and it's going to ask you for uh, what confi a configuration number or name, what you want to name it or whatever. So I'm just going to put test right here. We're going to call this test. All right, so now we can reposition things to where we want to. So right here, I like to have my call right here. So that'll be for the call sign. And I'm going to move this out of the way. Move this out of the way. I'm gonna move this out of the way. I'm gonna move this out of the way. I'm gonna move this out of the way. And what I like to have next, and you can do these any way you want. Now I'm gonna tell you right now, you can spend as much time as you want lining these suckers up and B O C D all you want, but we're just gonna to try to hurry really quick and do this. I like my sent and receive to be next. Okay. And then over here, I like the name and state to be over here, right beside the country. And again, you can set this up any way you want. All right, I like the country right there. Now for over here, I like the date to be here. And I like the time on to be side by side the date. I don't like to even have county on here, and I'll show you how to get rid of that in just a second. So then down here, we got to have the. Let me get it. Find everything I've got on here. All right, we're gonna move sig info up right here because, like I said, sig info is going to be for your park to parks okay so down here next i like to put the band the frequency and the mode okay and i'll get to these two right here in a second you don't i don't even like to have power on mine so we'll get rid of that as well so now we're going to go back up here to settings all right, so we're going to go back to this little box. And what we're going to do is we're going to rearrange some things right here. So the call is always going to be first, no matter what, in the order. So it doesn't matter where it's at in this right here. But you want to order these in the order you want to do it. Now, I have my sent and receive set to same as last. And I'm going to show you how to do that as well. So what I want to do next is sig info for for putting in the park information so we want to start with call and then we want to start with so it'll go call then to other and then i like it to go to comments move the comments up and i'm going to show you why i like it in this order okay so date needs to be on there band needs to be on there mode needs to be on there so power, we want to go down here and make it not visible. See. County, 
make it not visible. Time off, not visible. Log contact, not visible. Here. So we got call, sent, receive, SIG info, which again is um, the real important thing is that SIG underscore info. Make sure and have that underscore info, okay? Because if not, the POTA site won't rip. Uh, won't acknowledge it. Over here, we got name, state, country. So now we're going to go to other two right here and we're going to click it and we're going to make it visible. So that's going to enable it. Now, if you look on mine, this other two already says my SIG info. So I'm going to take that and I'm going to drag it right here. Now, over here, if you want the regular time and the UTC time, you can you can you can leave them on or leave them off. I only have UTC T shop UTC time on mine, but that's a personal preference. But this is what you got to have this stuff right here. So call, sent, receipt. Well. Actually, you don't even have to have sent and receive. You got to have your call. You got to have your SIG info. You don't have to have names or any of this stuff. This is the way I like to do it. But if you look right here on SIG info, I have none because that's a part number. Okay. My in, my SIG info, which would be my part number, says previous record. That means once I put it in, in the beginning, every log is going to go previous record. Same as station call sign, which I'll get to that in a second. Now, soda reference we'll get to that in a second my soda reference this would be for soda says previous record and then all the other says none okay so all right so now it's now that's done you're all you're also going to go up here to call book and decide what call book you want i use ac log because it's free you can use qrz and stuff but you gotta have internet so what i do is i do ac log and then i do download data so that gives this to me offline and it'll, it'll give me all the call signs and stuff like that. And you'll see what I'm talking about right here in a second. So it's done. It'll probably take a little bit longer for you because mine's been done before. So when I go here, you've got all that done. You want to set up for your activation. All right. So let's say that I'm in Kilo 1800 activating today. We got that brought up. I'm going to need to go and set my frequency. Let's say I do 7.2 six nine and once i hit the 7.269 you should be able to click over here on mode and it should automatically go to ssb and 40 meters because it it knows what what i'm on if i would have hit 7044 this would automatically go to c or whatever so once you've got that set up you can go over here and you'll go kilo eight golf quebec and you'll hit the tab button if you look, it filled out my sent and receive report because I've got mine set up to do that because I just, I don't have time to log sent and receive. I'll give a good signal report, but that's what it is. And you notice the next tab it went to is SIG info. So if that, if he was in a park, let's say he was in kilo dash 7033. Now I've got his park info in and then it's ready. I hit enter. Now let's say the next call sign is Alpha Delta 2 Charlie Delta. You hit enter and you notice everything came up. So Toby's not in a park. So all I would have to do is hit enter. Basically, now all you got to do is put in the call sign and everything will come up for you as long as you've got all this set up at the beginning. All right. So if you are activating with a club call, you're going to go to setting. You're going to go back to the edit fields. And you're going to bring that up. And you're going to go down here. And you're going to... I have mine set up on other three is what I've got it set up on. You can use which one you want, but I'm going to click on other three. And then I'm going to make visible. If you look, it says station underscore call. So what I'm going to do with that, now we're going to take this station, 
and I like to put it right here. And I, if you'll remember, I have this set as same as last. So let's say that I'm working my as my call, club call, and I put in Whiskey 8 Lima Oscar Golf. Okay? So then when I when I make this QSO with November 3 X-Ray Lima Sierra and hit Enter, that will be in my record as Whiskey 8 Lima Oscar Golf. It's still set up in the operator as Kilo Echo 8 Papa's O November, but you've got to have your station call for POTA in there as well. All right, let's say you want to do a soda one instead of POTA. We're going to go settings. We're going to go edit fields just like we were before. We're going to go customize. And now we're going to go back down here. And we're going to remove other two. Because that's my park info. We don't need that. We're going to remove the others because that's the park to park number. We don't need that. And we're going to be, remove other three because we don't need our club call. So we're removing all of these things. Now what we do need is we need other four make that visible and other five make that visible okay now if you look and see move this down here out of the way all right if you look and see the my sig info which was right here and the sig info and the station call sign is gone okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to dra drag down soda reference because that would be a s for summits to summits and drag down my soda reference down here. And then we're going to go back here. Unable this where you can't make it no more and we're going to click done. Okay, and now we need to put this. So let's go Whiskey 8 Victor slash HM dash 0112. Okay, that'll be my soda number. All right, now the next time when we bring in somebody else, it'll be soda. Say we'll do Whiskey Delta 4, Delta Alpha November. And if you look, the my, my soda reference came up. And if he was in a soda reference, you just put it right here. So really simple. Just make sure and save these configurations and they'll be fine. All right. So when you want to go to a save configuration, you can go to settings. Same thing. Edit. And you'll just go to load configurations. And you would just go to whatever you've got your name, name configured as which mine is right here. And it'll tell you you're going to have to shut down the software to bring it back. All right, so when you bring it back up in your computer, it'll show you the settings just like you had for your configurations. And we all know how to do logging and stuff like that. And if you don't, send me an email and I'll gladly help you with that stuff as well. Uh, hopefully this video helped you um, get some understanding on how to set things up. Uh, all right. So that's all there is to setting it up for Poda or Soda. If you have any questions, make sure and send me a message or a comment in the chat somewhere here. And I'll make sure and try to reply to all those as well. And if you need to know how to do more stuff within 3FGP, just send me a message. If you like this video from Ham Radio Adventure Guy, click up here in the corner and watch another one. And while you're at it, click down here in the corner, subscribe. Make sure and follow us on all social media sites. And as always, Thanks for sharing my adventure with me.